So breathing, so I'm a PhD trained biomedical engineer. So in my mind, when in my younger days, I didn't understand like what's the whole big deal about breath, right? You, essentially, if you sum it down to the mechanical function of breathing is getting oxygen into your body and get carbon dioxide out. So for someone who really appreciates breath, I think you would really like that as well. I have one practice with you, by the way. Please. One thing that I do, I, I learned recently, it actually helps me sleep, believe it or not. I learned this from this deep dive athlete who basically holds world records of, you know, holding the longest breath, going as deep as possible. Okay. And share one specific technique essentially is you hold your breath as long as you can, and then you exhale. And then you take a deep breath in, deep breath in again, hold it, and then let everything go. Yeah. So I do that right before I go to sleep. So instead of taking melatonin or some other methodologies or tools as a way to put myself in a more relaxed mode, relaxation mode, doing this practice actually helps me go to sleep even faster. So just want to show uh, That's a great one. If we're talking about sleep, I swim about five days a week. I, I was in the water literally an hour ago, just an hour ago swimming. And I swim probably about, oh, about a half a mile to three quarters of a mile when, uh, five days a week. That relaxes me better than any other exercise I know. Uh, so mm. that's, you know, while we're talking about practices and breathing, swimming is another one that my whole muscles get very calm, my complete body. And I just feel very relaxed. And then that allows me to, when I got to get energized and get ready to tackle the day or do interviews or do, or, or write books or, or perform uh, or deliver a speech, I'm ready to, I'm ready to rock and roll. So you do this right before you perform or write or give a speech? Yeah, I swim every day. I don't have control of the time that my health club has a lane available during a pandemic. So I book things in advance and sometimes they can get me in in the morning. Sometimes they can get me in in the afternoon, but I make it a point no matter what time, I don't care if it's 6 a.m. or 5 p.m., I'll, I'll structure my week in a very deliberate way to make sure I can get in that, that swimming because that is the total, to me, that's the ultimate. Plus it's, it's, you're by yourself. It's just you in the water and there's something very meditative about swimming. Yeah. You know, later today, I'm also going to go uh, mountain bike riding with my son. I have a 14 year old oh, son and uh, we'll, we'll take, we live very close to the Santa Monica mountains and we'll do, we'll get, we'll get a, a ride in today. Yeah, so to me, if you can burn about a thousand calories a day, mixing it up with you know, scrape the tongue, salute the sun, breathe and meditate is always seven days a week in the morning. Mm. But I, I interject that with swimming and cycling and hiking, just like we did a couple of days ago, CK, we were on a hike together. So yeah. that to me is the combination of all that's really great. Living in California is helpful because we have pretty good weather. So that allows me to, to, to do these things and be with people like you.